Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning session of prayer. Your prayers in the privacy of your own home, your heartfelt concerns poured out to God. Not in any format, only directly from your own heart. Now we'll begin with, <clears throat> I'll say my prayer. Dear God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer of all of us being able to walk with you hand in hand by releasing our fears to you, being guided by you, listening to you with our own personal prayers. And I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, so anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they want, any way they want. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll begin the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Ah, beloved God. I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to you, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fears. As I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and the love of you, O God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments I share. with my body and my spirit in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Now we're going to clear our minds of fears, and we do this, we call it clearing our energy field. We take our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position, let it fall over to the 3 o'clock position, our right knee, left knee, back to the 9 o'clock position, and then up to the 12 o'clock position once again. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, my God, I clear my mind and my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your light, O oh God. Om. Now we come to an important part where we just ask God, how may we serve you this day? And it usually comes to me in just one or two words. And then I, most of the time, don't quite understand what I'm being told this day, but I'll use those one or two words throughout the rest of the prayers, and by the time I'm done, I'll have a good, clear understanding of what God was trying to tell me. 
So here we put our right hands over our hearts. And when I say our prayers begin with, I'll just begin the prayer, but you must end it in your own way. Repeat after me what I began with and then end it in your own way. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we're going to stand and announce out loud what came to us. We put our palms forward and hear our prayers begin with, my God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now we're going to make our oath a reality by saying the word Amen three times. This is what was done in Aramaic, Jesus' language. Here we're going to sing it aloud, uh, any tune, any tone we want, as loud as we want in the privacy of our own homes. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down. And lay down on our backs, on our mats. And we'll go into resting position, which is our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides. And here we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest. Holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my Father, I love you, and I thank you for...
Om. Now we take our right foot and our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat while our right arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, hold it down near our pelvis, and our left arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, left arm still above our head, stretched out down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we let our right foot fall down to the mat, out to the right side of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders, palms up as our arms go down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we turn our heads to the right and our right leg goes across our bodies over to the left side down to the mat as we keep our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you. And I thank you for...
Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our feet outstretched, and we pull our left knee up to our chest this time, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for Now we take our right foot over to our left knee, or I mean our, our, I'm backwards. We take our left foot over to our right thigh, holding it there with our right hand, and we let our left arm go straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we take our left foot in our left hand, holding it down near our pelvis. Our right arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we point our left foot heavens heavenward, and we hold it with our left hand, our right arm still above our head, stretched down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for... Oh. Now we'll let that left foot fall down to the mat, out to the left of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders down to the mat, palms up, 
And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we turn our heads to the left, and this time our left leg crosses our body over to the right side, down to the mat, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at her sides, feet outstretched. And we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand, put the soles of our feet together, and here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now we pull our feet apart, holding them down near our pelvis, and our prayers begin with, Oh God, my God, I love you, and I thank you for... Om. 
Now we point both feet up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we let our feet fall down to the mat right near our pelvis. Our arms, <coughs> excuse me, get extended out to the side once again. This time, our palm, our arms are down to the mat. Our palms are down on the mat. We turn our heads to the left and our knees go to the right, down to the mat, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, I love you. And I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and our knees go over to the left side, down to the mat, holding our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my God, I love you, and I thank you for... Oh, now we go back to resting position. And this time we're going to go into what's called the surrender pose, where we surrender our fears to God, whatever our personal fears are this day. And we do this by putting our hands under our sit bones leaning forward on our elbows. Try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. As we do this, our prayers begin with, My God, I surrender to you. Oh. 
Now we go back to resting position. And our <clears throat> left hand reaches up for the heavens. And it falls over to the right side of our bodies. And we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and stretch over farther. And here our prayers begin with My God, in your name, I choose. Now we take our arms back down in resting position and our right hand goes straight up above our heads this time, reaching for the stars, for the heavens. And we let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. And we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our backs a little farther. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, in your name, I can. Now we go back to resting position, and this time we pull both feet up to our pelvis, knees towards the heavens, and we let our knees fall out to the sides, <clears throat> forming a tabernacle below our bodies. We take our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extend them two-thirds of the way up to the heavens forming a tabernacle of our hearts. A tabernacle is the house of God, and in this house of God we find this beautiful chalice filled with every single gift or desire, or anything we could ever want or need in service, being in service to God. And so here our prayers begin with, my God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Now we <clears throat> take our hands above our heads 
in prayer position right at the tops of our heads down to the mat and let our elbows fall out to the sides down to the mats. And here are prayers. Well, this forms a tabernacle, a house of God over our entire bodies. So here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind. Om. Now we're going to start the anointing series and we keep our hands in prayer position during all parts of the anointing series. And there's three parts to it. Each of them only has four little postures. But we, re re but we repeat it three times. So we take our thumbs to our foreheads, our hands in prayer position, and here our prayers begin with. My God, I anoint your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, My God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gifts to me of Oh. Now we take our hands down over our hearts, always in prayer position in the anointing series. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, I truly thank Thank you for your gifts to me of Now we point our finger, this last fourth pose in each of the anointing series is a motion, a movement, where we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our arms out to the three o'clock position right above our pelvis, go counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position, nine o'clock position, down to the mat, and then back to our foreheads with our thumbs. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, O oh God, 
I fill my body, my mind with your gifts to me of Um, now we'll start the second in the anointing series. Take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, My God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with. My God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts, always in prayer position in the anointing series. And here our prayers begin with, My God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we do the motion, pointing our fingers down into our abdomens, and then the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. And here our prayers begin with, God, I fill my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we start the third and final in the anointing series. And our prayers begin with, My God, I anoint your gifts to me of
Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Om. Now we do the motion, pointing our fingers into our abdomens, extending them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, My God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Om. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. We cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my God, I truly thank you for keeping me safe, for protecting me. Um. Now we roll over on our sides and we push ourselves back up into sitting position using our <coughs> arms and our hands. And we take our right leg this time, extend it out straight in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee and our left, our right hand goes around our left knee, 
and our left hand goes behind our backs for support as we twist our backs, our shoulders, and our heads <coughs> to the left. And here our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. My God, in your name, I desire to. Om. Now we switch legs. Our left leg goes straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. Our left hand goes around our right knee, and our right hand goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our backs, our shoulders, and our heads to the right. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. My God, in your name, I will. Um. Now we get up on our knees. <clears throat> Hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, I am truly thankful thankful for Om. Now we're going to form a tabernacle with our hands, our tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. And we put them down on the mat. And here we will put our foreheads down in this. This is a tabernacle with our hands. We'll put our foreheads down in it as we get into child's pose, bending over, putting our forehead down. And here we just feel God's motherly love and protection and nurturing and creation of new life and God's truth filling every cell in our bodies.
Om. Now we take our right leg out to the right side. We go back to sitting position and take our right leg out to the right side, extending it out at like a 45 degree angle. We take our left foot inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, my God, in your name, I will be. Om. Now we take our left foot out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with. Oh God, in your name. I am. Now we go back to sitting position, back straight, our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers, keeping our back straight. We bow forward at our pelvis, and here our prayers begin with, my God, I bow to you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now keeping our back straight, we bow forward a second time. And this time our prayers begin with, I bow to you, my God, my true father, my true mother, the one, the oneness. Om. Now we sit up back straight and tall once again and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat. The left side and right side of our pelvis 
On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's motherly white light of love, of nurturing, of caring, of creating new life. We feel this white light fill our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes, and fill up through our abdomen into every organ, every cell in our abdomens. The white light comes up into our chest, into our hearts, filling our hearts to glowing like a sun, like a beacon to the world with God's love. The white light goes out our throats and into our minds, letting us know that we are always cared for, loved, and nurtured. The white light goes out the tops of our heads and up high into the skies, and it spreads out throughout the whole sky, around the whole earth, and it rains down God's love on every single living creature. Now we feel God's blue light on the right side of our pelvis, the light of truth, of knowing. This blue light fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes, comes up and it fills our abdomens, our every cell and every organ, this blue light. The blue light comes up into our hearts and our hearts pump every moment of every single day and night with this blue light of truth going to every cell in our bodies. Now the blue light comes up through our throats into our minds, filling our minds with absolute truth of God. And the blue light goes out the tops of our heads up high into the skies, filling the skies with the blue light, mixing with the white light. And the blue light goes around the whole earth and rains down God's truth on every living creature. Now we can step up into the light that's above our heads and stay as long as we want, ask anything we want to ask. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, my God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>